Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and oh god, the M98B versus the Humble Bundle, this is not going to end very nicely. But this is what I had a problem with. I remember that first video that I made as soon as I got back, I was thinking to myself, you know what, I'm, I'm going to ask them what has been going on in terms of Battlefield and everything else. Like, I eventually found out what was going on in the world by checking CNN and then seeing really liberal, the really liberal side of news, but then I thought to myself, wait a second, they didn't say anything about the Humble Bundle, and it took me the longest time to figure it out, because I was getting into all these lobbies, and keep in mind, I didn't know about this at first. I was like, why are so many people low rank? And the other thing is, just like that guy got it right in the mouth, this guy, like, in the face, dude. Why is so many, like, why are so many people standing still? I don't understand this. This is like Deer Hunter Volume 2. I don't get why... Like, why, why are so many people just stationary targets that are waiting to get their faces just blown off? I don't, I don't get it. And I thought to myself, I'm not even that good with the M98B. You guys know as well as I do, despite the fact that my name is straight M98 Baller. And I thought that shot should have taken off that cloth monster's nose. And then I was like, you know what? You know what, Carl? You're going to bipod anyways. And come on, man. Put the bipod down. And Carl gets it in the face. I was just waiting for that. But you guys know as well as I do, I'm not that talented with single shot. Like, even that guy. Despite the fact that's a body shot, you guys are probably going to call me not optic worthy or not phase worthy. And I tweeted that out a few, I want to say a few weeks ago. And you can just see, it's so many, I don't want to say lucky shots, but stationary targets, not very hard to hit. Remember I tweeted out a few weeks ago, before I left for OCS, it was just like, Wait, Optic and FaZe in competitive tournaments actually use sniper rifles and quickscoping, and I just died. My sides went into orbit. I, did, I couldn't handle that. There is actually a game that offers competitive opportunities for those that quickscope. And I do realize that certain FPS that have been around, around for a really long time, and I shot at that support guy. He was already dead. I, didn't, I was very puzzled as to why I didn't get the kill. First shot's not going to hit... Bang! Second shot right in the face. But I wanted to say that I do understand that for certain FPS that have been, been around for a while, like Counter-Strike. Okay, Counter-Strike, I can understand that, yes, quick scoping or using a sniper rifle is very efficient in some competitive circumstances because it's based on PC, primarily. And I don't know what it is, man. I don't know why everybody and their mother and Carl and his sister happen to just be in stationary points waiting... Especially on 32 player versus 32 player. Granted, 16 versus 16, yeah man, you can get away with being stationary. But on 32 versus 32, you have to expect there's so many recons. And I look, okay, so I kill him, I w don't get up, Carl, and I get him in the face again. Same with this guy. Alright, creeping along, being an MLG pro, shoot him in the face, wait around, come on Mr. Medic, I hit him in the butt cheek, and then come on Mr. Medic, get him with the M9. I'm waiting on you, Jamal. Come on, dog. Actually, it's not Jamal. It's the Russian version of Jamal. I don't know what I would call him. Dimitri or something. Got him in the face again. That that MLG Pro Crouch Walker. Same like, just like the guy that's <laughs> slithering around on the ground. The engineer that was slithering around on the ground. It's, it's just very odd. I usually cannot get a two-piece and a biscuit like that. Like, I usually cannot get a guy, wait, get him again, and then ha that happens twice. So I got the slithering snake guy on the ground twice, and then I got the MLG Pro Crouch Walker twice. I didn't really understand how that worked, and yet again, I know. I have such a scrub, man. I actually get body shots, I guess that's a headshot, but yet again, I can't understand how this many people are in stationary positions. However, I can easily say that I do enjoy what the Humble Bundle has offered. Not only has Battlefield 3 just become much more fun and the M9 too deadly. Now look at this! Come on, Jamal. I don't care that you just bought the Humble Bundle. Look at him! He is like stepping on my body and he's not reviving. There he is in the top right corner. Jamal, what are you doing, man? Revive me! You're stepping on my corpse. Look at me. Just... Oh, just press forward and click down. That... I guess that is the other issue with the Humble Bundle is that, yes, there are some very, very bad players in this game. However, some of those bad players are also in your squad, and they will not be helping you out. Despite the fact that I do find a gentleman later on who does actually subscribe to the idea of reviving. But I, I think that's the little downside to the Humble Bundle. Is that yes, sure, there's going to be some really bad players that you're playing against. You can absolutely dunk them into the ground, LeBron James and... I wouldn't exactly say Kobe Bryant anymore because we all know that he doesn't dunk as much as he used to. 
However, I can easily say that it is much, much harder to... Like, I just feel as if it is almost hard to have a round where you don't do extremely well after the Humble Bundle. Now, another thing that I would definitely say is that it's not like the Humble Bundle Syndrome or the Humble Bundle Crumble, whatever you want to call it, is really all that localized. Because it seems like the majority of the servers that you go into, you will see all those enlisted ranks. You know, basically you look at the scoreboard, just like I did a few seconds ago. You look at the scoreboard, and there's not that many kernels on your little screen there. Not necessarily even Colonel 100s, but there's a lot of guys that aren't even at the Colonel rank yet. Now, granted, I, I know for a beginner, it does take a little while to get there. And you'll see at this point in time, as soon as I picked up the M16A3, it was almost like learning to walk again. I, I, it was switching from a sniper rifle to this thing. It's, it's really, really goofy. And this is another point. Okay, I tried to revive him, but the med pack's there. I try to shoot this guy out from the distance, and blam, that guy just comes out of nowhere. And yeah, sure, some of these Hummel Bundle kitties are pretty bad, but a lot of them are really stealthy. Like, he's going to go on the ground now and slither around for another 20 minutes where he came from. I'm sure he slithered up that hill. <coughs> but at this point in time, I was sort of debating. I was like, you know what? We have 32 tickets left. Maybe I should drop the whole aggressive recon technique and move on to something else. And another thing that I'd like to speak to you about is that at this point in time, if you guys really want, I will accept any sort of classic setups that you want me to run before Battlefield 4 comes out. And what I mean by that is, when I really boil it down, we pretty much only have about a month left of Battlefield 3 in terms of at least my schedule of uploading it. Because as you heard at Gamescom, and check out, like, I don't even know what I was doing here. I guess I got this guy because he was stationary. This guy comes around the corner, get... Oh, I no-scoped the other guy and then I had to M9 him, but that wasn't so successful. But I wanted to say that basically what, what it boils down to is there's only really a month left of Battlefield 3 in terms of me uploading it. I, I'm sure I'll upload it later on, but it's going to be pretty much all Battlefield 4 in a month because they announced the GameCon. The beta is coming in early October. So it, it only really is the month of September that I'm going to be uploading Battlefield 3. And then it's straight into Battlefield 4. I'm not like Jack or Level Cap or any of those other guys that somehow got footage ahead of time. I'm not that privileged because obviously Ravioli, Ravioli, John Ravioli give me the formioli. I think we're all familiar with that story. But I will accept any sort of challenge you have in terms of weird and goofy kit setups because it is the Humble Bundle. And look, I switched to the Spaz to try to get some sort of an MCOM out of this. I get a second guy, I get a third guy, but it's just like the train car. It's just like the train car. You know, you throw in enough grenades, and it's actually pretty smart when you think about it. Throw in two or three nades, and any exit that I try to run out of, there's going to be three or four guys ready to shoot me in the face. Whether they're humble bundle kitties or not, just Carl's running around with assault rifles that they don't even know how to use, it doesn't matter. You throw enough guys at that objective, it's not going to work out. So although I try to put a team on my back, though, it's it's not going to work. Because this dude don't know how to revive me. But, back to the point that I was saying. Because there is going to be a burst of Humble Bundle children that are running around playing Battlefield 3, I will accept any sort of request that you guys have in terms of goofy kit setups. Like Magnum only, I would really like to do that. Or, you know, MP412 Rex only, I'm really up for that. Or like a hip fire only mp7 any sort of weird or classic like i know you guys want a classic like the the mp412 rex the magnum like the arizona ranger with the big iron on his hip i know you guys want to see that before battlefield 4 rolls around and i think at this point it's much easier to do that because most of the time when i would run like a magnum setup or, or like an mp412 rex only setup it would be very frustrating to play against M16 only kids on the other team. Like, oftentimes you can't really do all that well with a pistol against M16A3 only try hard level 100 colonel. All I do is sit on my shit bucket all day players. Granted, I could probably do well, but the gameplay would be boring because I would be lurking around and flanking like running a marathon for 20 minutes before I would even get a kill. And I, I don't think it's very entertaining gameplay. And that's really what I want to be showing you is entertaining gameplay. But I think at this point in time, because there are so many Humble Bundle kitties, and I'm not going to say that it's difficult to play against these guys, because I do realize these kids are genuinely not all that skilled at the game. And you'll see in the outro, that's another thing that I'd like to, or to round off that point, say whatever you want and give me whatever kind of request you want in terms of goofy setups. But look at the end, alright? Pay attention, this is one thing that we don't realize about Battlefield and first person shooters in general. 
Look at the end clip, all right? The end clip just goes to show that even though it might seem like the most basic, linear choke point of a map, as in Metro, you can still tell that newer kids and newer players don't understand some of the routes and some of the flank routes that they can get absolutely destroyed by. So you might... I know we think of Metro like the back of our hands now because we've been out since beta, but still, new kids that are new to the game, they still don't think about the maps the way that we do. And I think that's just something to think about. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks to all of you that subscribed in the live stream, despite the fact how goofy those have been lately, and give me your requests in terms of goofy setups that we can destroy the Humble Bundle kitties with. I'm not saying they're the enemy, but I want to see the Humble Bundle crumble, just crumble, despite the fact that I got Burnout Paradise, which is a great game, because Avril Lavigne. But I'll see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen, Obisbalt, und later.